You happen to have any old video games? I'm gonna grab these off of you. And stuff. Seven bucks. All right, seven bucks. Mm. Yeah, I'll check these out online there. <clears throat> oh, they'll, yeah. they'll go in my collection. <clears throat> it's one corner of my game room. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh that is awesome. Yeah. That is a, that so is I've been collecting a long time. <laughs> oh, wow. <clears throat> Where's Kurt? <laughs> you know, good. Thank you. If you're also interested in the, I don't know if you are, but that if you look up online too, those that come in pretty high as well. What's that? Uh, the Rocky, uh, Apollo Creed. Oh yeah. That's a, that's definitely a good price as well. Like this, we just looked up. This one I think is selling like almost over thirty. This one's this is the metallic edition. This one's selling for right around 25, and I just took this one off. That's about 20 as well. So. Sweet. All right, I'll take it. Yeah. yeah. Right. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I'm a reseller, so I mean, I sell on eBay and. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah we can see and, uh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Good, how are you? Good. What you looking for? Maybe uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I do collect uh I do collect old video games. You haven't had any? Like Nintendo, DS, any handheld games or Place here, but Nintendo, um, Super Nintendo, N64, GameCube, Sega, Sega all, the same, all the old stuff. All the old stuff. Like, yeah, we stuff. got some of that. Yeah, like old um, cartridge games yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Yeah, that's exactly. Do you have um, like a 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it's in the attic. Yeah. Oh, that's my favorite. I love digging oh, in the no. attic. Oh, no. Well, I'm going to snatch these up. Okay. Three. Three dollars. Uh, I'll just use my phone. Oh, yeah. Thank you, guys. I'm going to turn into the next bluesman. There you go. Probably won't be any in there. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, Dad, I even found a bald he man. I ain't got bald, just no pull to hell. You got that, you got Mr. Skull, you got mm -hmm. E-Man with a sword, and you got Mr. Idiot. 1985 oh, Telepigs. Whose boxes are these? Mine. I found that in there. A dollar. A dollar? Yeah. I had it. <laughs> Wouldn't happen to have any old video games, would you? I had no. some. They're gone. Are they? Well, I got some PlayStation 1 too, but I ain't bought them. You we can't get PlayStation 1 no more. I got a whole pile of them. But oh, we got them. You got them here? Uh, I got that hat. I ain't planning on selling them. Oh, yeah, okay. I <laughs> no more. I hear you. Well, there you go. I appreciate it. Thank you. What you get on your games? Um, I think my son said ten, but I don't think that's a very good price. I would say more like five. Each? Yeah. Okay. Do you have any uh anything like older? Like Nintendo, Super mm -hmm. Nintendo, and sixty four? My dad had some, but I think he sold them. He sold them last yes. yard sale yes. last year. And for I, like uh like PlayStation, PlayStation Two, DS, Game Boy, I have a PS3, a lot of DS games at home, a lot. Okay. Plus, I think three DSs. My kids, they're getting older; they don't play them anymore, so I just kind of stuck them away. Right. I think there's two Xboxes, uh, maybe one Xbox game there. Yeah. I think that's all the games he brought though, with him. Because his um, <laughs> his PlayStation just messed up the other day, so oh, no. he was trying to get rid of it, getting ready for the five. <laughs> yeah, and the and I like the older stuff better. He does too. How much are your movies? A dollar. Twenty-one. Let's see what I got on me. Did you take just twenty for the whole set? Yeah, that's fine. All right. There you go. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're welcome.
You happen to have any old video games? Mm -hmm. That's what I look for. I look for like the old games I grew up playing. Now, most of that stuff, if I got any games, is in my warehouse in Boston. Yeah, I got it in here. This is another one I found in the box last night. You got that whole kit? Yep. Oh, sweet. How about that e-bug, huh? Today. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't took it out once I found it in that building. Oh, yeah, I see the box. <clears throat> Since October, my sister came down here and we were busting butt. Oh, yeah. Moving everything from Florida, from Jacksonville. We already had a warehouse here. Yeah. And this was another building that we did after we did the pecan cart. Sleeves. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I got a bunch of them. What would you want for it? What, for all that? Yeah, that, that little bundle here. Oh, I know I'm going to cut my throat. <laughs> you got the two controllers, three games. And the system. Yeah, and all the cables. Uh, Okay, she wants you to make me off. <laughs> me make it off. I don't know where to start. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what about 50 bucks? Ooh. Fifty bucks and I take away the game. <laughs> <laughs> what about thirty? Let's go thirty five. All right, let's see what I got on me. You know you got it. If not, it's in your backpack. No, there ain't nothing in my backpack. <laughs> I just wear it so I can mount my camera. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, 35 You got a $5 bill? She does. She's <laughs> all right. the money. That works. There you are. Lucky well, I brought them. You want right. a sack for that? Yeah. You sure that we got some bags? No, nah, I'm good. Thank okay. you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay. I mean, you do got a buttload of movies. Oh, yeah. I just got 250 uh, last weekend. Oh, dang.
gonna grab these five off of you. I appreciate it. How much? Two. Thank you. Okay, folks, so we're going to start with the items you did not see on video that I am adding into the collection. So we've got, first off, from Special Reserve Games, Mother Russia Bleeds. Uh, this was the PS4 version. Came with the PS4 case. Came with this nice little piece of artwork here. And then a pen that looks like a syringe. And then here's the game itself. Um, a lot of packages were received with dents in them, as you can see right here. This was brought up to Special Reserve Games' attention, and they are sending everyone another copy. So I actually have two copies. Then, from Play Asia, we got in Gan Bear on the PS Vita. From Limited Run Games, Shantae and the Seven Sirens. Also from Play Asia, on the Vita, we got Xeno Crisis. From Nintendo, we redeemed some coins and got this Super Mario 35th Anniversary Mario Zipper Pouch. Promotional use only. Then a subscriber sent in some PS3 games I did not have. Um, I have Modern Warfare 2, but I do not have the hardened edition of Modern Warfare 2. And it comes with a nice little art book and steel case. And that thing is mini fresh. Sonic the Hedgehog, another title I did not have. Enemy Territory on Quake Wars. And Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City Special Edition. Now, this is the still book with the slipcover. Uh, this complete, I think, is over a twenty-dollar game. Even though Operation Raccoon City is no, no one really likes that game. But those were the items that you did not see in video that came in. But before you go, we still have that Piedmont Blues Honor 
harmonica set. That sells for about 25, got it for three. Not bad. And we have the 1985 Thundercats Slythe uh, villain figure. Uh, this is dated 1985. Um, it's about an $18 to $20 figure. So not bad for a dollar. All right, so here's a little stack of some things for sale. We've got Stack Up. This was the gem in that Nintendo lot that was found. Always, always, always ask. You never know what they've got. This is proof. About a $100 game now. I've got a list for $120 because it's in really good condition. So uh, one has sold recently for, I think, almost $150. This game is going up in value. Right here, we've got uh, the Leprechaun 7 film collection and the Firestarter 2 film uh, collection. I picked both of those up for a dollar each. I sold those for 20 shipped. They shipped media mail, so made about $15 profit off of those. Also for sale, we've got the Nightmare on Elm Street collection. Um, that's about $12 plus shipping. Wrong Turn 1 through 6 on DVD. This is actually about $30. So I'm glad I found this. I picked it up and I threw it in with um, the PS4 games and bundled it all together. This right here would gladly take care of the price that I paid for the PS4 games. Cujo, always out of print. Now it's, it's out of print from Artisan. Uh, it did get a 25th anniversary uh, Blu-ray uh, release. And that Blu-ray sells for, I think, between 15 to 20 bucks. Could be a little bit more, maybe 25 But I know that the DVD at least sells for around 10 I've always picked it up, and I've always sold it. Spider-Man already sold for 18 You saw that. And then we got Batman. Uh, I think that's probably 9 or 10 bucks there. Um, what I'm keeping, though, is going to be Halloween 4 and 5, the double feature. Call of Duty World War II. I'm not a big uh, Pew Pew shooter fan, but uh, it's a game that I'm going to be able to add to the collection for free, so I'm in. We got NASCAR Heat 4. Oh, I'm totally in, right? Uh, Blu-ray DVD digital copy of uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. I'm stoked. Then we've got the 4K... Uh, Ant-Man and Wasp. And what I was really excited to kind of add into the collection was Marvel Pinball Epic Collection Volume 1. I believe, I could be wrong, that this was a GameStop exclusive and it's a little bit hard to find. Even though it's not expensive, there's just not a lot of copies ever listed on eBay. And um, I'm kind of thinking this game might go up in value. So be on the lookout for that. But there you have it, folks. I hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you have not hit that like button, then by all means, go ahead and do so. Be sure to hit the bell icon so you receive notifications whenever I upload new content. And folks, I hope, hope you've had a fantastic week. I know I have. I'm Tidy Collector, and have a good one.